Hello guys, it's Lopez here. I did PS2 emulation already. I wanted to play some Demon Souls, so I thought I might as well download the RPCS3 emulator as well. So to get started, you're going to want to go to the RPCS3 website and download the uh, actual emulator. I have Windows, so I went ahead and downloaded this already. If you have Linux, of course, just go for Linux. And they also had an option for blah, 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 uh, if you have wanted to use Terminal instead. Uh, there you go. And after that, you can go to the Quick Start and make sure you download the PlayStation 3 system software update just on the PlayStation Sony website. And you, if you have a new Windows system, you may also need to download this. Typically, though, if you've used it for a day, you should have downloaded this at some point already. So you're going to go to your folder, your downloads. You're going to grab the RPCS3 7-zip. I'm going to open that with 7-zip. Extract that, move it into my games folder where I had the PS2 emulator as well. Just because it's easier for me. You can, again, put this anywhere. Uh, if you saw my last video, it's, it's it's pretty much the same process, thankfully. It's pretty easy. Open that folder up, and you're going to move the PlayStation 3 update file right into there. Just for ease of access, there's no real reason for it other than just making your life a little easier. I'm also going to create a games folder. And you might actually want to put this games folder somewhere else um, because PlayStation 3 games are actually quite a bit larger than PS2. Uh, for now, I'm just going to put this all here just to uh, show you guys what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Drag that all into there. I'm going to decompress one of these files. Extract here. It's already in a folder, which is nice. And I'm going to open up RPCS 3. There we go. And it's just going to tell you here uh, to follow the quick start guide and download the PlayStation 3 firmware and make sure you have all the stuff you need to get started. You can go ahead and click these two buttons here, press continue, and that should never pop up again. Uh, oh, yes. So, yeah, 22 hours. Yeah, so I downloaded this yesterday. Um, you can, you, you probably won't see this if you downloaded it during this video. Just press yes, let it do its thing. It's not too big of a file, so it doesn't take too long. There we go. It's going to restart. And here we are. So in here, once the file is finished decompressing, there we go. We're going to go into uh, here, install firmware. And this is where you're going to grab your PUP file that you downloaded from the Sony website. Double click on that, that'll take a little bit of time. Uh, it's gonna download the, or it's gonna compile the modules. And there we go. So we're gonna go into file here. We're gonna click on the boot self slash elf. I'm not really sure what that's about. I just know it's how you open some games. Uh, other games you're also gonna wanna try. If you can't find the boot file, I'll show you where it is first. Uh, so go into your games folder. Go to your, wherever you have it downloaded. And typically it's right about in here in the user directory. And you're going to run this eBoot. And this is going to uh, basically install the game for you. Awesome. Um, so that's running. That's good. Uh, real quick before I show you anything else. If you can't find uh, the game file uh, there specifically... You might also find it with this option here. I don't know why some games that I have at least, uh, might not be your case, have had to find it with this option here. And you can also sometimes find it with this option here. I think this is once you have the game installed. Uh, but if you can't find it, try these two first. So the install packages are wraps and boot from self or elf. And those will probably be your best bets. Yeah. And it should work right out of the box. If you have a controller, you should be able to just go ahead and play. Or not. Yeah, so you gotta configure the controller. <laughs> first things first. So let's go here into. You. No, configuration. Yeah. Uh, pads, there it is. And you're gonna go ahead and change this, that's why, to X input uh, if you have just a regular controller. If you have a DualShock controller, uh, obviously just go ahead and select those two. And you have a couple other options as well. I think this is for the move. Uh, PlayStation Move. Not 100% sure. Never tried that before, so don't take my word for that. 
And now it should work out of the box right away. And there we go, seems to be working fine. This is great news. Um, so yeah, you're good to go. So that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any problems with your controller, if you have any other issues, uh, just go through the settings. It's probably somewhere in there. If you have any issues with the controller, before you try a different tab, make sure you go through the whole setup. So uh, if your start button isn't working, press start and then press the button on your controller. Should be easy as that and just go through that entire list. Typically, I've had pretty good luck with this. Uh, same thing with new versions of our uh, PCSX2. They've gotten really good at just finding all the options for you. Um, that should be about it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a like and uh, I'll see you later.